citizens of Warframe, I'm back with you in another video about what about the very weapons, uh, Odin. It, I think it's inspired from Odin because Odin uses the spear and this is the polar spear. So yeah, so let's see what the updates say about the weapon. So Odin, Odin, Odin. I have a problem with pronouncing this weapon. Odin, Odin. I speak many languages, so that's a problem. If you use it by Warframe, a heavy attack to throw Odin explodes, and this Odin explodes after it embed in an enemy. That's not true because, and they're gonna fix it, I believe, because if you hit it in the ground, it still detonates. Drift, if used by Drifter, power strike stuns and blind enemies by surrounding them with a cloud of dust. You're not a stability on Odin. So yeah. What we're gonna do now is I'm going to show you the weapon builds I did create for you. First build is gonna be light build, second build gonna be heavy build. Now, let's go. We're gonna test it, of course, like always we do. If you're new to the channel, this is how we do it. We're gonna test it, of course, in the simulacrum. Okay, so, collecting enemies. Only red crits, baby. Just wait for it. There you go. We got our 12 combo multipliers. What I'm gonna say, guys, this weapon gonna destroy, it does destroy Guandio. Check this out now with full combo, what this weapon gonna do. Check this out. Red crits, baby, all day long. This weapon have more than 100% critical chance, and I promise you, it will not fail you in any mission. Level cap, prime them with the epitaph. Easy, ever easy. Let's go. This is the build. Shimmering Blight, Blood Rush, Condition Overload, Sacrificial Steel, Organ Shatter, Prime Fever Strike, Vicious Frost, Whipping Wound, and Molten Impact. Oh my god, he didn't use the private pressure point to boost his slash. Ooh. Yeah, bye. Because I find Molten Impact. For this case, for this weapon, it does better. Okay? So you're going to be hitting them, viraling them, Condition Overload will do the rest, and Happy Tenno. Moving to the heavy style. This, it's... To be honest, it doesn't scale well. I didn't like it, but I made the build up for it. Let's go. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, uh, DE, just for you. You need to fix this because it's actually the... It, it's not like what you describe. But I mean, do, don't release weapons. You don't even know what they do. I mean, you say it's only amp to weapon because it's really amp to weapon. Look, if you hit the, the enemy, it's amp to him and then detonates. That's true. But it's also on the ground. Okay? So, yeah. Collecting enemies, hitting them, as you can see, it's not gonna be so good. And it does the problem with it, it doesn't proc slash and it doesn't scale. Now, there is something DE doing with this update, second fire, uh, second weapon, like for example, the um, which one we did the last, last Siam. The Siam, it's the same, it, it doesn't proc slash even if it, ha if it has a slash. The heavy attack, it doesn't proc slash. I think they start to take um, the path on making weapons doesn't proc slash they learned from the glaive because the glaive is their worst right nightmare right now so yeah what you're gonna do now we're gonna be doing something really easy and we all, we all know that in the channel how we do it we're gonna go to steel path to be exact we're gonna go to mod all right let's go and don't worry my friends i'm not gonna bore you to death all we're gonna do is we're gonna stay a couple of uh, i'm gonna show you a couple of seconds uh, this weapon what it does in those, against all the, this enemies uh, and then we're gonna wait uh, for the acolyte to spawn i'm not gonna wait make you wait five uh, minutes so i just want you to see this weapon how powerful and how good it is and as you can see this what i just take now is the heavy attack build okay it's not worth it 100% to waste your time and build it for this I mean it will not scale okay so I just wanted to show you this so you have it as a proof in the real game so let's switch to the hour speed builder and here we are with the real deal baby let's go let's show them uh, some power uh, on how we do things around here uh, only red crits power baby let's get our combo multiplier cooked uh, and we're gonna slay them all. Same thing. We're not gonna wait uh, forever. We're just gonna kill some enemies. 347,000. Now, this is what we're talking uh, about. This is what we like to see. Alright. I really hoped from my heart that the circuit is playable with the weapons that we really would like to play. But DE decided to make it different. But I think, guys, I think this is a scoop for you. 
I think I find a way to slay the Diviri, the, uh, Diviri circuit on Steel Path, even solo, without any issues. I think I find something. I am benchmarking it and testing it. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell the E yet. Let me break it, guys, for you. And then we're going to see how it goes, okay? All right. Let's keep on with our weapons. So, uh, red crits, baby, all day long. I, I love the weapon, to be honest. I love the weapon. Not only it, like, competes so bad with Gu Guandiao, but... It's just because it's a new weapon. It's a new weapon. When there is a new weapon in the game, I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy and excited to build it and so on. Because we all love new things, especially in Warframe. Because it takes them always ages to deliver for us something new. And I really hope they keep on updating uh, Diviri. We keep, keep on updating weapons and stuff like that. That's exactly what we need to keep getting updates. So yeah, that means more content for me. More things to do. More uh, food to feed the channel. Uh, Let's see, go. Uh, so, let's uh, wait for the Aquila to spawn. But you're not going to wait with me. I'm going to take it to a trip to it directly. Let's go. All right. The Aquila should be spawning any second now. Let's go, baby. Let's see how powerful our new Eden is. Let's go. What are you, Malice? Don't be shy now. Let's go. As you can see, the heavy attack doesn't do anything to him. It actually tickles him. So, normal attacks, it is what it is. Alright. Okay, let's go to the extraction. So, guys. While we go to the extraction. I want to tell you, uh, this weapon is very powerful. And I highly recommend for you guys to get it. So, so far, uh, all the Dviri weapons are so freaking good. There is none of them failed me yet. There is one more weapon to go. And you guys are ready with all the weapons everything in the channel guys i'm so happy that i managed and i'm still delivering for you guys everything that you want to know about the video in one channel everything you find puzzles builds guides everything that you can imagine speaking about that if you like really really like the content guys uh don't, don't hesitate to subscribe it helps a lot that's the way you can subscribe to the channel oh, i'm streaming on monday wednesday and saturday multi-streaming youtube or uh twitch doesn't Dep depends where you want to follow me really quick right now i'm going to show you a couple of things i'm going to show you first the nidus build that i used in case you're interested in that uh, we used uh, the mod steel charge arcane fury arcane strike one two three four five you already take a picture of this of the build uh, the archon shards all of them are azure the reason i use it nidus maybe you're new to the channel and you don't know why i use nidus in my builds so i don't boost the weapon in any way and nidus like he stays alive enough without stress to show you guys how good the weapon is. So later on you use Ash with full Crimson. Uh, critical damage and Eclipse. You're gonna kill everything on the Star Shard. So yeah. What's left for me guys to say. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Which is gonna be the next uh, Diviri weapon. And the last. Let's go.